Every entrepreneur has a story. My company, Emergenetics International, started with a really simple idea, how to help people understand themselves better, to understand their colleagues and their co-workers. The idea was steeped in my studies. I was a professor at the university, and I wanted to develop a questionnaire that would help people. Uh, so we tested it, we retested our, our questions, we validated them. Um, it took us about three years. Well, it wasn't easy. It meant giving up my uh, lifelong profession uh, that I had spent uh, years training for. It meant uh, giving up a steady income. Um, it meant being one of the first waves of, of women to go into the business world, uh, to do something for which I had absolutely no training. Uh, it meant juggling uh, three sons who were three, six, and ten at the time. And it meant selling an, uh, an in intangible product that most people at that time thought was pretty much touchy-feely. My first investment was uh, $50. I went to Radio Shack and I bought a phone that had a mute button on it. I placed the phone on top of a very old, uh, large desk that was located off the balcony uh, off my bedroom. Uh, it was very cozy. Ultimately, I hired an assistant and she and I would share the desk. When the phone would ring, she would answer, and then if the person wanted to speak to me, she would push the mute button and then push the phone across the desk for me. Today we have uh, offices in, on three continents. Uh, we have trained facilitators in 30 countries, and thousands of people have been impacted by Emergenetics principles. The exciting thing is, for the last two years, we have made the Inc. 5000 list of the fastest growing companies in the United States. But I haven't done this by myself. I always want to give credit to my colleague, Wendell Williams, who helped me design the first questionnaire, uh, and my incredible staff and associates and partners and the mentors who helped me along the way. At Emergenetics, we are moving thinking forward by providing innovative ways for people to understand themselves better. Well, that's my story. One simple idea. What's yours?